Okay guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create your very own cell phone case on Inventor. As you can see, I have my cell phone case drawn up right here. You can see the back with a cutout for the camera, a cutout for the microphone or speaker, and then cutouts for the buttons. If I turn it to the front side, you can see the, cuts out, the cutouts for the plugs and the speakers. This is the basic shape of the cell phone case that we are making. We're just making a one piece shell design. We're not going to be too fancy on this. In the future, you can create a fancier design. Once you create the basic shape, you can go ahead and add your different cutouts, your different um, extrusions and anything that you want to create your own cell phone case. So the first thing that you're going, need, going to need to do is you're going to need to go to gsmarena.com. When you get there, you can search for your phone. Um, and if you don't know what your phone is, you can always ask for help. But my phone happens to be the Samsung Galaxy A50. And right here in the section labeled body, this is the information that I'm looking for. The size of the phone and I want everything in millimeters. So this is the size of my phone that I need. Every phone is different, so make sure that you guys get the correct information. The other thing that you guys need to get from this website are pictures. You're gonna need a picture of each side of your phone so you know where cameras are located, as well as the ports for your chargers and for your headphones or anything else, uh, such as speakers and microphones. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. You're going to create a new metric drawing. So go over to the ENUS folder, go to metric, and choose standard MMIPT. Now this I'm going to go ahead and show you a different way of creating something. Um, so that way we're not always just using the same old uh, extrusion techniques. So go up to your rectangular button or your rectangle button, go to the pull down and choose your two point center rectangle. This, we can create a rectangle like we would a square, I mean, I'm sorry, a circle. So we have our center and I put my center right on the origin and I can go ahead and dimension this. Every person is going to have different dimensions based on their phones, so make sure that you're entering your dimensions your heights and your widths. Okay, so this is the general, these are the general dimensions of my phone. And I'm going to go ahead and bring in the pictures that I downloaded. Okay, so this is my picture of uh, the phone that I got from GSM Arena. And I'm just going to use my constraints to make sure that the picture lines up with my drawing. I'm going to resize the picture and then reposition it because phones are not square or don't have 90 degree corners, they have fillets. So we need to fillet it. Now the good thing about phones is that they have kind of the same sized fillets. They can bring, they can be um, two millimeter, I'm sorry, they can be 10 millimeters, 12 millimeters, depending on the type of phone, but it's usually around 10 or 12. So I'm just gonna go ahead and some uh, fill it my different corners and then once I have that that's all I need and now I'm just going to go ahead and um, offset this okay so this is the actual size of my phone I'm not changing anything I just need to go ahead and create what will now be this is the outside of my phone I now need to create the inside of my case. So I'm going to go to offset. I'm going to make sure that I choose everything and I'm going to offset this by 0.5 millimeters. Now that I have that, I'm just going to save my, I'm, I'm going to uh, finish my sketch and just leave it like that. So you see our two different um, rectangles that are filleted and we're going to make a new sketch, but this time on the YZ plane. So we're looking at it like this. I'm going to rotate it just a little bit, go to project geometry, and then select 
make sure that you guys are selecting the correct lines and everything and this is what I have right here okay you should see two dots pop up okay so I'm gonna draw a line and this is going to I'm actually going to draw three lines like this this and this okay the only information that I absolutely need to have correct is the width of this sort of rectangle. This is the width of my phone. It's going to be different for every single person, so make sure that you um, are dimensioning it correctly. And I'm just going to select that and connect it to this bottom dot that appears right here. Okay? And then and if this weird thing happens with you guys, don't freak out. I'm just going to delete that line. This is just going to represent, this right here is just representing what our phone would look like from the side. Okay. Yes, I, I realize it's not a perfect um, 90 degree cornered uh, rectangle. Okay. So now that you have that, I'm going to go ahead and create a regular rectangle. So go to the pull down menu on rectangle, go to two point rectangle, and we're just going to create a rectangle like this. I'm going to go to coincident and find the center point of that rectangle and then connect it to that upper yellow dot that appears right there. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm going to dimension this to have, I'm just going to click on this line here and this line here. This is going to be 0.5. And because we centered it, this should also be 0.5. Okay. So this right here is just representing like the space between the inside of the case and the outside of the phone, just enough to give it so that way we can get the phone in and the phone out. Okay. Now I'm going to create two rectangles like this and, two re and another rectangle like this. This represents the front of the case and the back of the case. I'm going to go ahead and fill it. I'm sorry, not fill it. Yes, I'm going to fill it this. This is going to be two millimeters right there and this one right there. Okay. I'm going to give this a thickness of two millimeters. Two millimeters is a perfect size for a phone case. Two millimeters, if you look at a ruler, you'll see that it's just the perfect size. And then this right here should also be two millimeters. All of these dimensions are going to be different. They're other than the two millimeters and the 0.5, every dimension is going to be different. Okay. Then the last thing I need to add is from the inside or this line right here to this line right there. I'm just going to type in one and that's the only thing I need. Okay. So you should have something that looks like this. I realize that this line right here is just floating and that's fine. We don't need to change anything about that. Okay. And if you want, we can pull it like to right here. That's fine. And um, you can see that if this is the inside or the, if this is our cell phone that we actually have and it fits inside the case, it won't go anywhere because there's a good, uh, there's a good amount of, of resistance right here if it were to touch the edges of the phone. Okay, so go ahead and say finish sketch and we are going to sweep. We're going to choose all three of the profiles that we created. And then we're going to choose the outer, um, like, large rectangle that we made in our first sketch as our path for this to follow. And as you see, it previews what, what's going to happen. And there is our basic shape of our case. The only thing that's missing is the back. So we'll just need to create a, a sketch on the back. I'm just going to project my geometry. That's it. Don't need to do anything else. Go to extrude, select this. Um, I'm going to make this two millimeters and I'm going to switch its direction so that way it goes in to fill in that void. And you can see 
that now we have something really nice, something looking good. All right, so now that we have this, we're going to go ahead and place our different, um, the locations for our different uh, cameras, for our holes for our different cameras, for our different buttons and all of that. So let's go ahead and start with the back. So I'm gonna make a sketch on the back and I'm going to bring in the image of the cell phone case, okay? So I'm just going to go to uh, Project Geometry, choose this, and then reposition the picture to fit on the geometry that I have here. And you guys are probably wondering why I'm making the picture the same exact size as the projected geometry, even though it's not the same. Well, if you look at your phone cases that you have now, the geometry of each of the cutouts is not perfect and exact to the size of the cameras or anything. It's bigger than what the cameras are. So I'm just going to make the picture bigger and allow myself some extra space in case I don't get the measurements right to get to put this all in the right location. Okay, so I'm just going to see if I can position this. All of these dimensions are 100% made up. None of it's real. I'm just doing my best to make it look something like I want it to. Okay, and I'm gonna finish the sketch and then I'm just going to extrude and cut it out. And there's the hole for my camera. Okay, remember that when you're using pictures found on the internet, there's no way to know exactly how big those pictures are unless they have measurements on it. So we just have to use our best judgment when creating the different holes for our cameras and everything. Okay, so I'm going to make a sketch on the front plane. I'm going to repeat the same process and I'm going to place an image on the front like that. Okay, I'm just going to make sure that every, hmm, why doesn't it, okay. Okay, and then I'm just gonna resize my picture to make sure that it fits. Okay, and then just move it over, okay. Um, you can see in each of these pictures that uh, th where the buttons are, where they should be located. And I'm just going to kind of over exaggerate the distance or the size of these holes or the size of these buttons and just make a hole for each thing to fit. Okay, same thing with the bottom. I sort of know where everything is, but I'm just gonna make a rectangle that kind of fits between the fillets that I have and I should be good to go. And, oh, that's not what I wanted. Okay, and I'm just gonna finish the sketch and extrude each of those rectangles that I created. And I want to extrude it Two, let's see if it'll give me, I want to extrude it to the inside of the case, to right there, and there you go, okay? If that picture is in the way, you can always turn the picture off, but this is basically the general shape of our phone case. You can always add fillets to make your phone case a little nicer. Um, in fact, I recommend fillets on each of these corners so that way you don't have uh, sharp 90 degree turns. And you can always, oop, not that one. If you accidentally select the wrong one, hold down your shift key and unselect it. And I'm just gonna change the size of these fillets to like five. And that kind of gives me a nicer looking cutout, okay? So this is the basic creation for your cell phone case. Okay, now that you have this, you can go ahead and start designing the back. If you guys have any questions, please let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next video.